Despite firing him just days earlier, U.S. President Donald Trump is now defending his former national security advisor, Michael Flynn, blaming the news media and lashing out at U.S. intelligence agencies. Things are being leaked. It's a criminal action, criminal act. People are trying to cover up for a terrible loss that the Democrats had under Hillary Clinton. Trump requested Flynn's resignation after leaks from intelligence officials to media outlets that Flynn had contact with the Russian ambassador prior to taking office and misled the vice president about those discussions. The president knew for weeks about this and let General Flynn stay on in his full capacity, present at and participating in the highest level of national security discussions until those reports were made public. The FBI is still investigating the claims, but a top Republican is downplaying the need for further independent inquiry and defending Flynn's actions prior to Trump taking office. With respect to uh, Michael Flynn talking to other governments in the transition, that's his job. That's what he's supposed to be doing. Late Tuesday, the New York Times reported, quoting unnamed intelligence sources, that it wasn't just Flynn in contact with Russian officials, but also Trump campaign staff and associates in the lead up to the U.S. election. Democrats on Capitol Hill held what they called an emergency meeting to push again for an independent inquiry into what they say are new revelations of broader ties between the Trump administration and Russia that went unaddressed for weeks. Democrats have also announced, along with some Republicans, legislation that if passed would limit Trump's ability to lift sanctions on Russia. The last thing the United States should be considering in the face of this provocation is dialing back sanctions on Russia now. If anything, we should probably increase them. Trump's statements, along with a flurry of posts on Wednesday on Twitter, may be an effort to shift focus away from suggestions of a possible White House link to Russia to a new narrative that allegations of ties to Russia are nothing more than democratic conspiracy designed to damage Trump politically. Kimberly Helkett, Al Jazeera, Washington.